security on CBeebies and CBeebies HD. Stir, stir, stir. Roll, roll, roll. Now we're ready to cook with Katie. <laughs> Hello, lovely to see you. I'm just getting ready for today's recipe. It's going to be delicious and I can't wait. Come in. Hello, Daisy. Hello. Hi, Sean. Hello. Hello, Isabella. Hi, Carjol. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now, do you want to know what delicious recipe we're going to be cooking today? Yeah. <laughs> today's mouth-watering recipe is going to be an easy peasy pizza. Now, doesn't that look tasty? Yes. yes! Now, we're nearly ready to make a start, but there's one thing that we've forgotten to do. Do you know what it is? Wash our hands! <laughs> Roll up your sleeves, give your hands a wash with slippy dippy soap. Splish, splash, blush. Have you done your hands? Yes. Washed and dry. Yes. Sleeves rolled up, yes. apron tied. Yes. What can you do? I can cook. Let's get cooking, everyone. Yes! <laughs> now, to make our lovely easy peasy pizza, we're going to need some self raising flour and a little bit of warm butter. So, pick up your butter with your fingertips and we're going to put it into our flour and we're going to give it a really good tickle. Can you show me your tickling fingers like this? <laughs> Can you do tickling fingers at home too, like that? Now, ready to tickle? Yeah! Let's go! Tickle! <laughs> you have to do it quickly, really quickly, tickling, tickly fingers. <laughs> Is anyone ticklish? Me! I'm going to come and tickle you. <laughs> Is everyone getting really messy? I'm getting really messy. Yeah! Are you getting messy? Look at my hands, look. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to add a little dribble drabble drobble of our milk. Let's pour it in together, ready? Whoosh! And now we're going to use our fork and we're going to mix it around the bowl. We get to make it into a big <laughs> ball shape. Now mix around as quickly as you can. Go one way and then the other. Can you pretend to mix at home too? Who can go the fastest? Who can whiz theirs around the fastest? Can you go... <laughs> Keep mixing and try and get all of the little bits of flour all stuck together. Is it sticking? My sticky. We need to try and get all of our dough into a big ball, so we might need to use our fingertips. Let's squidge it all together. That's it, and squidge it into a big ball shape. Has everyone made a ball? That's brilliant, Isabella. Perfect. That's brilliant, Sean, that is perfect. And now we're going to sprinkle some snow. So everyone, get your sprinklers and we're going to sprinkle some flour all over our mats and have a big snowstorm. Woo, let's go! I love making loads of mess with this, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got loads of snow, it's like a snowstorm. Woo! <laughs> We're going to get our big ball of dough. So show me your balls of dough. Quickly throw, catch. That's all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so next, put it onto your mat and show me your duck feet fingers. Can you do duck feet fingers like this as well? And we're going to give it a really good squash. So put your hand on top of the dough ball and give it a squash. Squash! That's it. And now you can pick it up and just go do a little pitter patter like this. <laughs> this is going to be the bottom of our pizza. So now we're going to take a baking tray with some baking paper on top and put your pizza base on top. What do you think we're going to need next in our recipe? I know, let's put you to the test. Today's ingredient for you to guess. What do you think it's going to be? 
Let me give you some clues. The missing ingredient for our pizza is red. So could it be... No, you can't eat a red bus. The missing ingredient is red and it's squashy. So could it be... No, jelly's too wibbly wobbly. The missing ingredient is red, it's squashy and it's round. So could it be... That's right, it's a tomato. We're going to need a tomato in our easy peasy pizza. Come on, let's go and see how tomatoes grow in the I Can Cook garden. Come on, let's go, everyone. <laughs> I can cook. This is the I Can Cook garden, everyone. Where do you think we'll find tomatoes growing? Do you think we'll find them buried underneath the ground, or on a bush, or do you think we'll find them in the greenhouse? In the greenhouse! In the greenhouse, that's right. Should we go and have a look? Let's go. <laughs> this is the greenhouse, everyone, where all of our tomatoes are growing. How do we know when these tomatoes are ready to pick? When they're red. That's right, when they're red. But it's also important that we don't pick them when they're green or orange, because they don't taste very nice. So, should we pick some tomatoes and put them in my basket? Yeah. Now we've got all our tomatoes, let's get back to the kitchen. Now we've washed our hands and we've washed our tomatoes and we're ready to carry on cooking. So, we're going to take a clean pair of scissors, everyone, and we're going to snip our tomatoes. So start by giving them little, little snips and then turn them into big snips. And remember, when using scissors, everybody knows it's always best to point them at your toes. Are they exploding? Yes! yes. They just exploded on me. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere on me. <laughs> it's a bit messy, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> My last one's running away from me. It is cool. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to put our chopped up tomato onto our pizza base. So take your pizza base, everyone. And then we're going to pour it on top, all the squishy juices. <laughs> and then using the back of your spoon, you're going to spread it all over the pizza base. And this is a bit messy. It's like we're making a really messy painting or a picture, isn't it? Yeah, like a big red face. Look at mine. Mine are really squishy. Can you squish them down onto the pizza? <laughs> this is really fun. It's really messy. Yeah. It is really messy, isn't it? <laughs> now look at this. It's a herb called rosemary. And if you rub the leaves, they smell really nice. Can you rub the leaves? It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> and it's going to taste even better when we put it in our cooking. So everyone, take some rosemary leaves and let's sprinkle it onto our pizza. Yeah. It's funny, actually, because what do you think rosemary looks like? Grass? It, lo it looks a bit like grass, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, little it looks tiny like top top stem. Grass. <laughs> yeah. So next, I want you to get your pinchy fingers out. Can you do pinchy fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that at home? Can we pretend it's talking? <laughs> <laughs> and let's pinch some pepper. Just a little bit and sprinkle it over. Beautiful. And now we're going to add a really, really fun special topping. We're going to add some juicy green grapes. So you can make any shape you like with the grapes. I'm going to make a smiley face. So I've got ooh, two eyes, one eye, two eye. I've got a little nose and then a little smile. And if you haven't got grapes, you can add any other topping you want. That's right. That is excellent. 
I'm making a person. Smile. Look at his face. <laughs> Eyes, nose, smile. Isabella, what have you got on your pizza? A person. Let's have a look. There's down, there's its feet, and there's its body. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Next, you're going to need a small chunk of cheese, like this. Is everyone ready with their cheese? Now, we're going to plonk Ooh. all of our cheesy chunks into our grating machine, like that. How do the mixing? And one person's going to be the pusher, and one person's going to be the turner of the handle. Are we ready? Yeah! Let's get grating go! You have to give it a really, really good push, Daisy. Really strong. It's still there. It is coming out. <laughs> That's it. And when you're finished, we're going to scatter our cheese all over our pizza. Scatter it all around. That is brilliant, Sean. You're making a cheese mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time to put our pizzas in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. But remember, with ovens, beware, because it's hot in there. So get an adult to help you. Come on, everyone. Let me help you put yours in, Sean. That looks brilliant. That is really good. <laughs> Whilst our easy-peasy pizzas are cooking, it's time to... Time it's always good to put away so we can use things another day. So now it's time to remember what we made today. We did mixing, mixing, mixing to make the pizza dough. Then we did the topping and did tomato popping. Pop, pop, popping for the top, top, topping. Spread it on your face like your butter bread. Splat and scoop, scoop and spread. Now we grate the cheese round and round, spinning and swirling. Round and round, scatter on the cheese, scatter, scatter, scatter. If it looks messy, it really doesn't matter. Scatter on the cheese, scatter it around. Put it in the oven until it's golden brown. Our pizzas have cooked, and while they cool down, let's lay the table! Our pizzas have cooled down and they're ready to eat. And we can eat them with some cool cucumber as well if we want. So if you want some cucumber, take a bit. The waiting is over. Enough of this talk. Let's taste our food with a knife and fork. Come on, everyone. Mm. Daisy, what's your pizza like? Yummy. <laughs> What does your pizza taste like, Kajal? It's really, really delicious. <laughs> Our easy peasy pizzas are delicious. We did it! We can cook! That's it for now. I can't wait to see you all again soon. And remember, you can cook too. Mm. It's lovely and um, it tastes really tomato -y. Sean, is yours nice? Yeah. Yum, yum. It's the yummy thing I've ever had. <laughs> if you want to make today's recipe, then go to bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies. Mm -hmm.